Hello, welcome to the final topic of a key to painting, which is going to be color. And what a wonderful visual sword that you can use as an artist and as a painter, because what is art all about? It's all about color. And what makes great artists? Artists that can use color in an interesting way. Get to know your color wheel. I know you've created a color wheel maybe a couple times now throughout your life, but really get to know it. Really consciously think about the colors you're using. When I was reading up, a lot of different books talked about how you can choose either a warm or a cool color theme, but make sure you always include something from that other one. But choose a dominant theme. Is your work going to have more warm colors or cool colors? When it has that kind of in-between, a little bit of everything, it washes out. It's not as interesting. Um, color creates so much emotional feeling. There's so much depth to the colors, and there's so much undescribable un knowledge that comes with the color choice. Now, if it's red and it's supposed to be this, you know, romantic work or some sort of a, you know, dramatic scene. Including red's gonna do that for you. There's each of these like ideas that comes with the color has its own psychology. Now the psychology behind color is its own field in and of itself and we'll only touch on it here briefly but it is something interesting to think about. Um, the dullest of subjects can totally be brought to a unique place by adding the most intriguing colors. So if you want to create something about a square box, but you use these awesome intriguing colors, it's going to be the coolest square box that most people have ever seen. Um, there's some rules to remember. Let one quiet color dominate the largest of areas. Then in your focal area, you're going to bring the most contrast and the most bright, intense colors. Uh, let one value dominate, whether it's light or dark, warm or cool. Kind of choose a color theme. So if there's going to be a lot of orange, or if there's going to be a lot of red, or blues, or purples, and then different tones of that, and then hit it with the opposite, the complementary color, to really pop it out. I think color is something that I could go on for ages about. And I will talk about it more in almost every lesson that I create, talking about the colors that we use and how important it is to consciously choose them. I'd like to show you just a couple works. Um, let's go down here to an interesting work that you can see has this general theme to it. And this is actually a painting. It's not a photograph, which it might look like. But this color of this green that you can see here throughout the work. So interesting to think about the way that that color dominates. And it makes it such a successful work. In this image of kind of a Thomas Kincaid landscape perfect work, you can see that there's this blue color throughout the background to bring intrigue to that warm color around the house. Now, I want you to think about color and I want you to experiment with color, but the biggest thing you can do with color is try it out. Just practice with it. Thank you so much for not only listening to me kind of go on about these ideas of what makes a successful painting, a successful painter, and a key ingredient to all of these different things that I've talked about and what they are. Um, you know, one of these elements and keys that I've talked about on its own cannot be enough. It has to be a combination of a bunch of different things. A combination of your own interest in the work. A combination of the passage in your work leading the viewer's eyes through the different design elements that you've included. I think one of the biggest things, like I've talked about before, is color and the 
artist's choice of color and use of the different color elements and keeping those different planes, the foreground, middle ground, and background, having different colors in each of those different planes. I really think we've learned about a lot of great things. I think it's been a great um, way to just understand what we, what we really want to cover as artists in our work. And bringing that personal experience and personal interest into your work is going to bring that work to that next level. You're going to be a happier artist and you're going to produce work that's really impressive. I'm uh, excited to see what you come up with.